In this training, we're going to talk about setting up your opportunities or your sales pipeline. This is going to help you manage deals and understand how much revenue you have that's waiting to be closed. So this is a very important part of the sales process. If you've never done a pipeline before or managed any opportunities, this is a really important step so you can recognize revenue and see how much revenue you have that you're trying to close. If you're following something like the um, legacy selling system, you might have steps like this where there might be people in a hit list, which means these are all the prospects that we're going after. These are our suspects that we're trying to educate. We think they'd be great fits for our product or service. The farm club is people that haven't said yet, yes yet, but we're trying to nurture. The red zone are people that are hot to close. We just need to close on the really close. They just need a little extra help. The top 25 are the people that are our current customers that are our top 25 customers we want to take care of really well. Net promoters are the people that are going to promote us the most. Um, and then interested, that's just kind of a random one if you just have people that might be interested um, that are, haven't quite, quite pulled the trigger yet. You can customize this however you want. So I'm going to show you real quick how you can just go into your settings down here at the bottom. You're going to click on pipelines and then you can create as many pipelines as you want. So what that means is if you have a different product as a different sales process or a different service as a different sales process, that's okay. The important thing is to match your sales product uh, process with your product or service. I recommend having like one master pipeline that you can control everything and follow a process so it doesn't get too overwhelming, but you do have the option to create multiple. So if we were to go ahead and create new pipeline, um, you're then gonna see something like this where you can give it a name and you can start adding different stages of the pipeline. Think of a stage as a step in the sales process. Um, if you're gonna use something like this, the legacy selling system, this is where you would put in hit list, farm club, red zone, top 25, net promoters, anything else you want. You hit save, and then whenever you go back to opportunities, you're now gonna have a drop down of all your pipelines and you're gonna see these mapped out. So, Step one, complete, great job. You've completed the steps in your pipeline. Now we gotta add people to it. There's a couple ways to do that. The easiest way is what you're in here is just to click this new button right here. We're gonna just start searching for a contact. I'm gonna pull up my contact record here. It's gonna pull my information. It already has the tags I've been in. Put in my company name if it's not already in there. And then we're gonna give the opportunity a name. So think of an opportunity as this is the name of the deal you are trying to close. So this might be, um, let's see, this is just a demo account, but it might be Brad, Genie Rocket, um, Business Consultation, kind of generic. But whatever you wanna call that, we can say the value of that lead. So we might say this lead is worth uh, 24,500. Where did he come from? He's a referral. He is assigned to the salesperson and the status is open. I hit add, and immediately I'm added right here. So now, check this out, this is cool. At the very top in green, it's gonna show the total amount of value in each of these categories. You can simply drag and drop, and it's gonna change the number and show you how many leads are in each category. Pretty cool. So imagine if you had this filled up with lots of leads. So if I go to this other kind of demo one I've created, lead pipeline, Boom. So now you've got 38 people in suspects, 71 people in prospects, 53 clients, 9 promoters, 9 advocates, and you can literally drag and drop them around. And so this is a great way to start the day to come here and see, okay, who is closest to closing and what do I need to do to close them? And you could literally come right here in the card. You can text them. You can call them. You can add a task to a sales guy. Um, you can click in on that person make sure all this looks correct. And then if you click on their name, it's gonna pull up their contact detail record. You can see all the conversations had, who called them last, who texted them last, who emailed them last, um, are there any open tasks, what are the last notes, do we need to set an appointment? All of that is at your fingertips from one simple tool. So the pipeline is incredibly important because is, this is what is gonna measure who's closing. So when the boss comes in, says, Hey, who, who's close to closing or what are we doing? This is your answer. If you are the boss, you get to log in and you get to see all this right here under opportunities. So I hope that helps. And my name is Brad Parnell with Genie Rocket and I'll see you next time.